Okay, in the last video, we, de we derived the formula D as equal to the square root of E sting 2 minus E sting 1 squared plus northing 2 minus northing 1 squared. And this is essentially the Pythagorean theorem replaced with a little bit of you know, surveying uh, terminology here with northings and eastings. Then I want to do an example of using the distance formula. Draw my coordinate axes. north and east and I'm going to draw a line and I keep this simple let's say this is point let's go big here let's just say this is point 36 and this is point 37, just to be different. And point 36 has a northing of 100, 100, and an easting of 100. And 37. Northing of 200 and an easting of 200. Okay, so that's like this 100, 100, and 200. So let's use the distance formula and plug in our coordinates and get the distance of this line. This, this line has a distance of d. So d is equal to the square root of the change in e thing. Change in e thing, so that's what? 200 minus 100 squared and the change in northing is still 200 minus 100 right this is this here and this is this distance here right so D is equal to the square root of 100 squared plus 100 squared, which D is equal to the square root of 10,000 plus 10,000. So D is equal to the square root of 20,000. 20,000 20,000 the square root of that is 141.42 141.42 so this distance is 141.42 feet so any two coordinates you can solve for the distance by using this distance formula. Pretty easy. <clears throat> okay, let's do one more example that's a little bit tougher. Alright, we'll do some you know numbers that aren't so easy to, to work with. 
and I'm just going to make some numbers up. So I draw my coordinate axes again. North and east. And let's say point one has coordinates of um, hmm. 247.86 and 388.642 2 has coordinates uh, um, 465.1 and 401.86 okay let's so we'll let's put point one and point two on here so let's say this is 100 200 300 400 and this is 500 right at the arrow 500 and 100 200 300 400 and 500 is up here at the arrow so point one is two the northing the northing remember it's northing and then easting Point one northing is two forty seven. So about right about here. Two forty seven. And its easting is three eighty eight. So it's like right here. So go up there right about here. That's point one. Point one. Point two has coordinates of 465 465 so it's like right oh, 465 465 that was the northing the northing 465 easting 401 right so it's up here somewhere point two so it's a steep line so this is the distance from one to two. Okay, distance is equal to the square root of the change in northing, or with, or the change in easting. Let's keep it the same. Let's keep the change in easting. So it's four oh one point eight six minus three eighty eight point six four squared plus four sixty five point one two oops plus sorry that's not a plus edit undo undo minus two forty seven point eight six squared D is equal to, put it down here so we can see, 401.86 minus 388.64 squared. 174.77 174.77 I'm going to use the square root of this plus 465 point whoops 465 point one two minus two forty seven point eight six 
equal to that squared forty seven thousand two hundred and one point nine one two hundred one point nine one so D is equal to that plus one seventy four point seven seven the square root of that 217.66 217.66 so that was a harder example of using the distance formula given coordinates all right this is the end of inversing coordinates for distances see you soon